Hello viewers, today we're going to be unboxing a weather station. This is model WS-2902A and it is branded Ambient Weather. I'm not too familiar with this make. Up until now I've used an Acurite uh, weather station. My uncle likes these things as well. He had a similar Acurite model and his failed in the same manner. The temperature and humidity gauge has quit working on mine. So we're going to try this model this time around and see what happens. This one's a little more advanced than the one I currently have. This one has uh, Wi-Fi capacities and other things like that. It's got a calendar and a clock and all sorts of stuff in there. Um, anyways, let's open it up and take a look and see what we have here. It's uh, 915 megahertz wireless. The other ones I've used are down like 400 megahertz range, so hopefully this doesn't cause any kind of interference issues on the telephone. Okay, we have a nice cardboard packaging here with stinking styrofoam. A pretty thick manual. It's uh, actually got a lot of pages and it is all one language. So that's interesting. Um, let's take a look at the components themselves. This, I believe, is the um, the temperature, not the temperature, the indoor display. Of course, it's taped up in such a manner that I can't get it apart. Okay. Alright, this is getting a lot of control here. Oh, again. Okay, so this is not the easiest product to get open. Alright, here's the inside display. It has uh, wall mount holes, or it looks like we got a stand here. So we could put it on a table. So we'll do that for now. Here is the power cord for the inside display. Mounting tools for the outdoor sensor. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, okay, I'm not really sure what this is either. This is the wind directional thing. Wind speed. I just got an email. A service card. This appears to be the outdoor unit itself. It um, it's battery operated, but it's also solar powered as well. That's got some instructions, so we'll hold on to that. There's a solar panel. So supposedly during the day when it's sunny out, it'll switch to solar power instead of using up the batteries all the time, which is kind of nice. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of an LED. Perhaps it's a daylight sensor, I don't know. Um, takes uh, only two, two uh, AA batteries. Alright, so 
Let's see what we have here. Perhaps uh, some kind of a cutting implement would make this easier. Read the directions as much as I'm not a direction reader. Okay, so I wasn't even close. Uh -huh. It's going to go like this. Is it? No, I think it goes like this. go again. That was easier. Okay, so the manual said this one is not supposed to spin freely, and this one is, so it looks like that's where it should be. These both have set screws, so we're going to screw those in now. This one, this uh, has three tabs that line up on here. Okay. That's that's latched on. So now this is all assembled. Now I may have an issue getting this mounted because right now I have it screwed onto the deck, and from the looks of the manual here, it would seem to be that it only mounts on a pole. So I may have to get some kind of a pole, screw the pole to the deck, and then put the sensor on that pole. I usually prefer to put lithium batteries in these things because they're more resilient to temperature, but this is all I have on hand as far as non-rechargeable batteries go. So we're going to use this for now. Okay, our LED indicator has come on. And now we got to get the indoor unit going. The indoor sensor takes uh, AAA batteries. I'm not quite sure how many, but we'll slide these in here and see what happens. Looks like it's going to be three. Okay. And once I figure out where I'm going to put this, I'll probably plug it in with the power adapter just to make things a little bit more reliable. Now I have to press a reset button on the sensor in order to get that to work. Here it is. So we'll go ahead and press that. Don't think this is going to be uh, small enough to press. I gotta get something smaller. Let's try this screwdriver. Yep, that worked. Okay, that's been reset. And let's see if this wants to start reading it. Okay, so it is working. It's not very visible without the light on. So I don't know if there's a way to get the light this down all the time. Perhaps if the power adapter is plugged in, there is. The, um, that sensor thing I saw before appears to be a light sensor. It looks like it's got UV uh, sensing capacity, which is pretty cool. My other one didn't have that. Um, it's claiming there's rain because I've been moving it around. Now, I'm noticing there's a pretty significant temperature difference. The sensor's only over there, so uh, I'm not sure what's up with that. Perhaps the sensor just haven't acclimated to the room or something. Um, but anyways, So I gotta learn how to use this, and uh, the next video we'll we'll figure out how to mount it outside. 